Well, good afternoon, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here with you today. Uh, let me introduce myself first. I'm Cai Jie, a master's student from Tsinghua University. This paper is named as Multimodal Continual Graph Learning with Neural Architecture Search. In this talk today, I'd like to introduce how we deal with multimodal continual learning graph, uh, continual graph learning problem with Neural Architecture Search. Uh, so let's begin with the first part research background. Uh, let, um, with the rapid development of social media, multimodal continual graph data is playing an increasingly important role. For large social media platforms, billions of users generate and receive huge amounts of multimodal information every day. The information and downstream tags are so variable that it is impractical to use the same model as architecture to learn multimodal content based different data distributions. Uh, specifically, the multimodal continual graph data in real world have the following properties. The data distribution, the multimodal information and the graph structure pattern change dynamically over time. Also, multimodal continual graph learning tasks in real world also comes in diverse forms. Uh, for example, in a search engine, engineers need to design algorithms to solve various kinds of problems that improve user uh, experience and business profitability. Here are at least two kinds of common problems, uh, such as identify clickbait and uh, sports articles and so on. Uh, this means that it's necessary to continually learn the best model architecture as well as parameters for different tasks to obtain satisfactory performance. Uh, let's move to the introduction of MJN. The graph on the left shows the spread of multimodal information on social networks. Users click and read articles published by publishers where friends can share the articles with each other. Then the connections between nodes are generated. Uh, in this multimodal graph, each node corresponds to an article that can contain uh, textual and viral information. Uh, here I show an example of MGN. Uh, most existing works firstly divides the multimodal graph into several single model graphs. After that, we learn how to propagate information across the links in the single graph to compute single model node representations based on local graph neighborhoods. Then we can combine the outputs of two genes and put them into a multimodal fusion layer to learn multimodal representations for further tasks. Uh, let's turn to the next issue, continual graph learning. Uh, CGL has been an emerging search topic which learns from graph data for different tasks or distributions coming sequentially. It aims to gradually learn new knowledge without forgetting the old ones across tasks. Uh, existing continual graph learning methods can be divided into replay-based methods and recognition-based methods. Uh, in the setting of continual graph learning, graph data always change in data distribution. For example, in this figure, we show label distribution shift and the sparseness shift. Um, however, considering multimodal CGL with involving typology structures and the multimodal information uh, poses great challenges. Uh, firstly, it's unclear how to incorporate the multimodal information into CGL. It results in more complex models than single model graphs. Uh, it's also important to design models that can capture the structure involving dynamics. Existing CGL methods can only be applied to the fixed GN structures. How to share parameters and the structures between different tasks while maintaining continual graph learning ability is also important. Um, to tackle these challenges, we propose a novel framework to continually learn um, both the model architecture and corresponding parameters. Uh, the reason why we use NAS to solve CGL problem can be divided into three parts. Uh, real world social media connects an extremely large number of multimodal contents. It makes uh, it difficult to solve classification problems at the same time. Um, also, data appears in an ever changing fashion. 
uh, manually designed for every task is time consuming, laborious, and unrealistic. Uh, to solve the catastrophic forgetting problem, uh, we design regularization for shared parameters and a sharing strategy to avoid unnecessary architecture extension for each uh, for similar tasks. Uh, to guarantee the diversity of MGM models, we use not adaptively explore model architectures without forgetting old information. Uh, now I want to describe our problem definition. Uh, given a sequence of multimodal graphs, each task in each graph can respond to a task key. Uh, continuous multimodal graph learning aims to learn its tasks sequentially without catastrophic forgetting problem. Uh, the goal of MSCGL is to find the optimal MGN architecture and model parameters that satisfies this equation. Here, A star T is best architecture and W star T is trained model parameters under architecture A uh, for task T. Uh, and Mexico A and W are the search spaces of model architectures and parameters respectively. Uh, let's come to the main point, our proposed method. Uh, the life cycle of MSCGL framework comprises four stages, uh, data pre-presenting stage, retraining stage, architecture search stage, and the maintenance stage. Uh, in, the, in the data pre-presenting -pre -pre stage, we process raw data and construct an adaptive MGN. In the neural architecture search stage, uh, we search for the architecture and parameters jointly that not only remember past knowledge, but also perform well on new tasks. Uh, in the shared model training stage, we retrain the best architecture form in the last stage. Uh, in the maintenance stage, we explicitly remove obsolete blocks of old architectures and equip the model with new blocks that saves the uh, knowledge from both the new tasks and the history tasks. Uh, next, I'll introduce our method in details. Uh, any MGN is an accessible MGN collaborated with a well-designed search, uh, search space. Since any MGN needs to be shared and involved between different tasks and different data distributions, uh, the design of any MGN is different from general MGNs. Uh, in order to better cooperate, in order to better collaborate uh, with continual graph learning, any MGN needs to fully leverage the connections between different nodes and the typology of the graph. Also, the sub-architecture should be uh, adjusted adaptively according to the common text. To achieve these demands, uh, we inherit and extend the design of graph NAS. Our NMGN consists of two components, GN cells and uh, the prediction layer. Uh, for GN cells, uh, we use this equation. Here, uh, phi is the uh, aggregation function, uh, including, uh, including correlation computation and aggregation operation. Uh, sigma is an activation function. Uh, for, uh, for phi, we firstly calculate co correlation coefficient for each node, then we aggregate information from its neighborhoods. Uh, after updating the reputations of nodes in a particular modality, we combine the reputations of different modality into a new reputation and that uh, each U uh, uh, apostrophe to be the inputs of the classification layer. Uh, we use a linear layer to predict the label of each node. Uh, this is our search space, including aggregation, activation, and correlation functions. Uh, to learn the propagation patterns of graph um, from a multimodal point of view, we introduce the gated attention machine um, uh, into, uh, into information transmission. Here, FA and FJ represent the gate part and uh, uh, represent the uh, attention part and gate part of the gated uh, attention network respectively. Uh, we use inner product gate to represent the close relationship between node U and node V. 
uh, we use a ne recurrent neural network as controller to generate the description of NMJN. Well, the aim is to maximize the expected accuracy. It's minimizing the training loss, uh, L3. Uh, it can be represented as a bilevel optimization problem. Uh, here, w, here W star is the set of shared weights according to the sharing strategy in the next part. Mm, else, here I will say is a regularization term aiming to find architectures that set qualified for continual learning. Uh, here we show more details about uh, control, uh, controller training laws that helps to search for the model with best memory ability. Uh, LC can be divided into two terms. Uh, LB is a block sparse coefficient, uh, and uh, LO is a uh, uh, orthogonal coefficient. Uh, here, uh, Mexico W is a space of shared parameters. Uh, Cosine ref is a parameter which is uh, both block sparse and orthogonal to W ref. Uh, these two regularizations can be seen as constraints for the search space of NMG and parameters. We want to search for the parameters that are both block sparse and orthogonal. Uh, two previous shared uh, parameters. Uh, to help understand our sharing strategy and group sports regularization, we facilitate the discussion of the NMGN with an example. Just look at, uh, just look at the genus cell at this position. Uh, that is MGAT, MGAT and cost. Uh, in step one, the best correlation function is found to be MJAT, then the node MJAT should be considered in block sparse regularization. Uh, in step two, uh, the best is MJAT again. Uh, so we uh, considered it in block sparse and orthogonal regularization. After retraining the shared model, the parameters of MJAT in step two are covered by the new parameters. Uh, in step three, the best correlation function is const. Uh, Sets node const need to be computed in uh, only block sparse regularization. Uh, we perform various experiments to verify the effectiveness of MSCGL method. Uh, firstly, we collect a two real world multimodal node classification data set. Uh, each data set is split into train validation and test in a four to two ratio. Uh, we use class, uh, classification accuracy, uh, AP and AF uh, as, pre, as the evaluation measure for each task. Um, we compare our framework with fine-tuned joint tree and existing continual graph learning methods such as TWP, LWF, EWC, MATH, and GIM. Uh, so now we come to the experimental results. Here the question arises, how does our framework perform compared with state-of-the-art methods? Uh, can the proposed framework uh, solve the catastrophic forgetting problem? Uh, and uh, can the framework guarantee the diversity of MGN models? Uh, in table three and four, uh, they compare the baseline methods against our method for three steps. Uh, the, the FATU method, uh, so FATU model achieves the worst performance among all baselines. Uh, it reflect, reflects the catastrophic forgetting problem on MAM genes. Uh, and our method significantly, significantly and consistently outperforms the baselines for both data sets. We also conduct, uh, we also conduct uh, ablation study to validate the effectiveness of each part. Uh, in table six, we show the long-term memory ability of our framework. Uh, we verify the effectiveness of the uh, block spots um, and orthogonal terms and show the readout in table seven. Finally, uh, we study the effect of changing the two coefficients. Uh, to sum up, the conclusion of this paper can be divided into three parts. Uh, we propose a novel and an MGN model uh, and the sharing strategy provides a necessary architecture extension. 
Uh, we also propose novel MSCGL framework using GSR and NAS. Uh, we adaptively post the uh, uh, model architectures without forgetting history information. Uh, and the experiment results indicate that both the adaptively grow growing architectures in which sharing across different tasks play an important, important role in affecting the model performances. Uh, that concludes my talk for today. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much for this talk. Um, are there any questions from the attendants? Yes, uh, Ji, do you have a question? No. So you are able to maintain, oh, wait one second. There's a question. Okay, so there's a question by Hongru Liu. Um, he's asking to clarify if uh, GNN can be employed to multi-data types like text or pictures. And how can we use it in this setting? Oh yes, um, you can apply GN to uh, to multimodal graph data, and and the node types can be uh, text pictures or even uh, videos and wise uh, for uh, for the the simplest uh, for the simplest uh, example you can. Uh, you just need to congregate the uh, features of different modalities. Mm. And, but after that, uh, researchers propose uh, MJN, uh, multi-model graph neural networks. Um, there are about uh, several, several papers about this topic. And you can also use uh, Hater, uh, you can also use Hater Gene, uh, Gene, oh, sorry, I'm, uh, uh, to uh, to model the different uh, different types of um, multimodal data.